I don't know why the, the, the diamond club thing isn't playing right here. That's weird. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, oh my God, Michael! Thank you for being such a good sport. I wish we had more time beforehand to let you know how chaotic everything was going to be on this. Oh no, no worries. Uh, and I, I had fun, dude. You you were amazing, and you have no idea how excited we are to. Uh, there's one thing on the show that we pride ourselves on doing, which is is finding awesome before everyone else does, just so we can be those a holes who are just like, oh that. What else? I was, that was a month ago, and and you are that next that that next thing. Uh, we smell dynasty all over this. Uh, Although you are. Uh, you are too sweet. I, I, I've just been overwhelmed by the whole thing. It's crazy. Awesome. Um, okay, what are we going to call this episode, Justin? Uh, and why is Bogo randomly shouting, shake that ass? It's probably whatever was going on behind me. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. probably someone twerking it behind me. Oh, oh undoubtedly. Does he get it? Doesn't. Have you seen uh, this remix? This is from last month. Is. Here, you think about what we're going to call this while we look at this. We got the title. Uh, oh, I'll, can can I guess and see if we both had the same suggestion? What if episode? Uh, what if NSFW episode one hundred eighteen was, was good? good? <laughs> yes. No, that's got to be what it is. <clears throat> hey, uh, there, there's one other plug I forgot to do, and we'll throw this in here real quick. Um, I today earlier I went on the risk podcast if you've never seen the risk podcast it's people it's true. another board game they have to make into something else. <laughs> god damn it it's a true tales boldly told and i kid you not the story i told on the risk podcast i had to consult with a lawyer to find out if there are any legal repercussions with actually sharing uh it was it was really a lot of fun risk was uh, a lot of fun thank you very much to uh kevin allison is that his last name justin uh yes Brian, Kevin Allison, who you met today, and it was one of my comedic idols because he was in the cast of the state, <laughs> which you've never seen. It doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter that he was in the state. <laughs> I saw the that's, one skit with that I'll dip my balls in it. That's the, uh, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> this is Brian's hands about the state. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what my hands are doing. Oh, oh, it's just, we we're going we crazy. recorded it live live. today with my hands. If you want, I'll call him. I, I have his number. His I will spit in your face the next time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> you disgust me. I'll give him a call. Like, Kevs, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey, my little brother. I mean, Justin, he's very, he's really into your show. Oh, my God. I wouldn't even be able to have a discussion with him. 
It's it's a great show, by the way, because once I found out they were having me on there, I went back and listened. I know. It shaped my life. No, that's Oh, no, that's wait. His, a million his podcast years ago. about board game pieces. No, it's Risk is a Let's great Let's roll podcast. three into Eurasia. <laughs> I'll take Kamchatka. If only I can hold it. Uh, no, anyway, uh, look for that. The, the Risk podcast, I definitely tell a tale that uh, previously I told a lie. Previously, I said it was a tale of Atlantic City with Charles Barkley and uh, Michael Jordan, and it turns out that it's not. It happened in a totally different city because my lawyer said I could say so. Yeah. Uh, it's, all right. a, it's a great story. I think, we, yeah, there's... where Did you talk about it on Behind the Scam? Yeah, the first episode. Yeah. With you. So it's, not, it's never been on NSW before. It's a hilarious, awesome story, and I'm looking forward to hearing how Brian told it because I did know there was a lot of legal consternation uh, in internally in Team Brushwood. About uh, about whether or not this was uh, something that they wanted to get out there. Does does YouTube know visually what something looks like and just says like, well, this looks like it's essentially the same horse crap? <laughs> look at these related videos on here. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm sure probably that's like the keyword Willy Wonka. Yeah, oh, and you were not the tags. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, all right. Okay, where's uh, the Reply Girl? God. I mean, like, out on I, that one. I feel like I got something out of this video. Maybe <laughs> be like, oh, I just saw a video. It's Willy Wonka saying you lose. And then like they made a remix of it. It was crazy. <laughs> but the thing is, like, watch other replies and tell me that they're anything more than that. Yeah, no, they I agree. I agree. Are. I agree. So, uh, OK, so um, what if episode 118 of NSFW is good? All right. <clears throat> This is NSFW episode 118, recorded on March 13th, 2012. What if episode 118 of... Uh, damn it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have my soundboard as an art. I know, yeah. Double complete rainbow. Double complete Double rainbow. Double complete rainbow. Oh, I hate you. <clears throat> um, it, it is 118, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. Or 117, I forget. You got to do a reading for both now. This is NSFW episode 118, recorded on 313-2012. What if NSFW episode 118 was good? Are you done, are you done texting? It is yes. indeed 118, by the by. Yes, good. Because Power uh, Hour right. was 117. Yeah, dude, I'm so I'm so flattered that you watched Power Hour episode 117. Oh, yeah, I got to watch you guys all just fade into oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> now, now was that was that something that was like annoying or inspiring? We're like, well, apparently the bar has been set so low that I have no problem. Oh, no, no, no. It was like very enjoyable because it like it it was actually the best example of like just getting to witness the banter. <laughs> Yes. And, like, because and, and the, then I could go, okay, well, this is like, it's probably going to be a lot more, uh, like, we're all going to be sober. So, <laughs> oh theoretically. My God. Do you know what? Uh, yeah, no, I think, well, the point is, like, to do a show like that, you have to just make it clear it's about the drinking. Yeah. Because, like, then oh, yeah. it's a social experiment. If you just yeah. get wasted and you don't tell people it's about the drinking, then, then it's you're just being really like a little depressing for everybody. You're like, oh, it's dark times. Right. Sure. <laughs> Uh, guys, I got, I got a quick judgment call, and I need your input on it. Um, as you know, the whole point of what we're trying to do is to get everybody to buy the book at the same time on the same day and have it be a bestseller. Uh, the goal of all of this, the reason I'm giving up half of whatever money I would make on the first day uh, for the Scam School book is because it would be worth it just to kiss the number one – to be able to say we had an Amazon bestseller, uh, number one, for, for even one second would be amazing. Here's the problem, question mark is right at this moment, it's currently number 815 in overall books. And the question is, do we make a push here at 11 p.m. Central Time the night before the release, or do we say, hold, and tell everyone to hit it at noon tomorrow? Justin? Bye, 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 You, you, bye, you bye. turn into bad money. You're just like, you're like, I'm buying this thing left and right. Scam school books are going to make a billion dollars. Yeah, no, uh, I'm going to Jim Cramer this one with a bye, bye, bye. No, just, I mean, listen, you can't, you know, 
Wait, well, does it does it reset fired. once it goes to midnight, it, or does it kind of carry over? It's a it's an hourly recharging thing. It's like however much in the past hour factors in, and the, and they're sort of like it, it's 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 a rolling average basically, yeah. right? Because so I feel like if you did get it at number one tonight, then people going in later would be like, oh, that's number one. I I'm gonna get that, and it's only four ninety nine. So that's, that's what I was hoping, right? That's exactly what I was what I was trying to try to say. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say, uh, Jammer B, don't tell don't tell Leo I said this. But uh, Twit gave me a Christmas present. They gave me an Amazon gift card for a hundred dollars. Guess what I'm buying? Twenty five copies of Just a Robert Young, uh, Andrew Maine's book. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, of course. Your uh, your book over and over and over again. That's uh, really, that's a smart move. I would do that. You're like, uh, Brian, that's just money laundering. You took a gift and you perverted it so you can make money yourself. No, I would, that's like, that's like the logs in Back to the Future 3. Like the the supercharged magic logs that they keep throwing into the. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You go green, yellow, red. And then you exactly. Go, you go wow. back in time. That's impressive that you remember that. That's amazing. So it's uh, one of my favorite trilogies. Uh, dude, I can't believe how well it's held up because my daughter, like I saw it when I was a kid. I just yeah. showed my my seven year old now, now eight year old. And she loved it. We, we downloaded the um, the Telltale Adventure game. We've been playing the episodes uh, on that. It, it, it's amazing how much it works. Yeah, I've wanted to actually, the Telltale game's good. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a an incredible single-player video game experience, uh, it's functional, right? If you want a nostalgia bomb right in your face explosion, that's what it is. Because it's like, we watched the movies, and then I'm like, hey, you know, there's this game out, and it's only $5 for the first episode. So we went and got it, and... Uh, Everything about it is a love letter to the originals. The music is exactly the same. They got Doc Brown. They, you know, Christopher Lloyd does the voice of Doc Brown. And they got the kid who plays Marty sounds exactly like Marty. Yeah, McClive. I heard he's like exactly the same. Well, and, they, and they make like little changes that uh, it was it was it's really it's so worth it. They deserve a lot of money. Plus, uh, outside of Double Fine, before Double Fine's amazing Kickstarter, three uh, hey, million hey, Brian, dollars. What breaking news? What apparently number the number seven book in iBooks is the Scam School book. Okay, look, we just got to run this, don't we? Number seven. It's only three ninety nine on Amazon. It's only three ninety nine on Amazon. It's a ten dollar book. It's only three ninety nine on Amazon. I, I hate to ask you guys. I don't. I hate to ask. Okay, Andrew W is just shouting. Go, people, go. Uh, do me a favor. If you are going to buy, well, if Andrew W shout again, well, <laughs> he knows what's up. He knows the way the. <laughs> Let me just say this. If you're going to buy more than one copy, if you're going to buy it as a gift to somebody else, make sure that you buy multiple instances. Two single orders is way more valuable than one order of two books. Yes. So meanwhile, you want to, you want to wrap things up? Also, guess, 17 orders be separately be is better, better than, than two orders. That's true. That's true. That's so true. There we go. And, oh, can I tell you this? Actually, uh, at the discount price, here's the thing. Because I submitted... Uh, $10 for the book. And then I dropped it to five, four ninety nine dollars for the, for release day. And uh, I only get 70% of the book. So if, if Amazon is doing three ninety nine, dollars that means Amazon is only taking 10% and almost all the money that you spend will actually go to me, which would be nice. So if you ask me, I'll give it back to you. This is all a big laundering scheme is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> all right. Yes. Sorry, my friend, I've been doing nothing but trolling my friend Anthony, who's a big Miami Dolphins fan. With uh, And nobody, four people in the chat room are going to understand what I'm saying. But uh, Peyton Manning is a quarterback for uh, a free agent quarterback that would make a very big difference for his franchise. So I just keep texting him every rumor possible to deliberately try to give him a heart attack. <laughs> and like now I have to reap what I sow. As he has a panic attack on on text, and he's just freaking the hell out. Oh, that's so awesome! I, have, I can't ignore him. Um, all right, so let's uh, do the recap, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Tell everyone what's going on. All right, everybody. Have you heard the news? <laughs> NSW show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, I should do myself. <laughs> if you're about to down on the farm, we have got these great things. <laughs> So, hey, everybody, and I'm here to say NSFW in a major way. <laughs> All right, here we go.
Howdy, y'all. It's time for NSFW show. Who are we joined by? Well, oh, God damn it. Michael, what's your last name? <laughs> Michael Barrett. <laughs> Please promise Barrett. me you'll put that in the episode. Tony, leave this in. Leave this in, Tony. Right, yeah. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Guten Tag. Welcome to NSFW show. We are joined by Michael Barrett. You might have seen his video. What if Star Wars episode one was good on the Internet? We go over all of the South by So Wasted, the NSFW meetup and go game in Austin last weekend. Boy, howdy. Isn't it just a handful of fun slapped across your mom's face? NSFW starts right now. Wink. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, this episode is brought to you by... Uh, dude, can, uh, can I tell real quick? I, I, I told you this earlier, Justin, but I'm going to tell chat room as well. Oh. Met up with the Pond 5 guys. As you guys know, Pond 5 is sponsoring three shows, over, uh, including Frame Rate at Twip. And I, I went to tell them... Uh, about uh, about our show, I was like, well, first of all, it would be great if you could get a code just for frame rate because we're using the general Twit code. And they said they said they're very happy with what they've seen uh, in the response from Twit. They said that you know it was just like <laughs> exploded. And I said uh, I said, well, can we get a code for frame rate? And they're like, yeah, oh, you know, we're all looking to expand. There's another show on Twit. It's like uh, WTF or STFU or uh, I was like NSFW. They're like, yes, that's it. I was like, well, let me tell you a little story about NSFW. As I said, it um, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we have an extraordinarily dedicated fan base. I said, um, I said, yeah, Squarespace. And I, they cut me off. They're like, dude, we saw those guys last night. They wouldn't shut up about you guys, which is curious since they didn't sponsor today's episode. <laughs> uh, you know, I think they just they're, they're trying to figure out exactly where to spend the right amount of money. No, you know? no. Squarespace is apparently very happy with us. I'm very at least they're getting drunk and telling people it's South by Southwest and they're it's good enough for me. Here. You know what? It's like I'll it's like it. maybe they're trying to hand us off. <laughs> they're all <laughs> yeah, they're all like, they're all like oh, you know who's totally hot? My girlfriend. Less. Why don't you why don't you bang my girlfriend? She's so hot. She's great in bed. She's awesome. You you two are meant for each other. Very weird. <laughs> you think right? it's a bad idea? Okay, here we go. All right. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and <laughs> <laughs> Michael, do you, do you know do you know the uh do you know the 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 well the bit we were doing during Netflix? Uh, I was trying to catch it on the feed because uh, people seem to be uh, the, the hassle thing. Uh, yeah, hassle yeah. sounds to many people yes. like a orifice yes. on time. Human bodies. It saves you time, money, and assholes is is the problem, yes. right? And so, yeah. So yeah, I I can't read it without thinking about it. And then I, <laughs> I didn't even show the, the chat this problem. time. That was the amazing part. All right, go All right, ahead. Here we go. <clears throat> this episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. I'm sorry I left. You screwed mic. it up. I did. Because that I made the mistake. image is just too funny. I made the mistake. <laughs> I made the mistake of reading what they put on. on. Shaving you time, money, and asshole. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. It's just is that uh, Fred Dirtz? I don't know. Playing the role of the a yeah. <laughs> At the end there? Um, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. It looks, yeah, yeah it I can <laughs> spot a dirt from 50 paces. Look at that. <laughs> I know right. dirt's when I see me one. All right, go ahead. Uh, this episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. 
Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Hey, you want to get a little you Netflix? Want, you want some Netflix? You don't have to pay nothing for them. It's say shaving Jew time, money, and hassle. 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 All hey, right. mister. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Got a great story for you about Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Somebody's. Wow. These are great photos. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Whose photos are those? Uh, this is from Black Panda. Uh, dude, can, can I give a major shout out to freaking MacBook Pro? MacBook Pro drove eight hours from Louisiana. And Jason. Jason, his uh, compatriot. Oh, I, 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 I didn't realize the two of them came, yeah. to, came together. Yeah, yeah, no, they rolled together. It was amazing, dude. It was, and, and freaking on top of that, MacBook Pro went and laid down in the, uh, uh, oh, uh, can, can, can I just show? The footage that, um, all right, hold on. Wait a minute. What? Bob McBob says, Jerry, please click. I've worked for 30 minutes. So I'm going to click on it. Sorry for the noise. Really? Yeah. 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 Because she lied. Dude. Where's the video? I'm ready. I'm ready to kick off. While we're waiting for the rest of the people to get here, I'll just run you really quickly through my Jungle Cruise version of the, uh, the Go Game explanation. So, Here's the thing. The Go Game is very difficult to explain. He's like, he's getting there. He's getting second. The Go Game is very difficult to explain. Uh, but by the way, Michael, uh, if, if you are fine with us watching home movies in front of you, then by all means hang out. But I, I'd hate to feel like I forced you to, to sit here watching us uh, recap our event. But, but I know a lot not of people all. wanted to be there. So you're welcome to hang. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, luckily, the one person who is best at explaining exactly what the Go Game is is a very good friend of mine. Couldn't be here today. It's gonna to be very difficult. Now. <laughs> but he's a very good friend of mine. All right, the Go game is kind of like a cross between the Amazing Race. Justin, were you prepared for how freaking pimp Brett looks in his in his prisoner orange jumpsuit? I can't deny I had a boner. Ball and throw it at the other team's face. Go. <laughs> All right. Uh, we also like to call it a high-tech urban adventure game. It's high-tech, of course, because we're going to be issuing you guys cameras shortly. You're going to use your own internet-enabled cell phones, or as we like to call them at South by Southwest, cell phones. <laughs> and that's how you're going to get your mission missions. You're going to get four basic mission types today. The first mission type is what we in the scavenger hunt industry call a sneak and snoop. That's trademarked, so please don't steal it. Mark and I are both out of jobs. <laughs> the second mission type is what we call an inter-team mission. So while you guys are out and about in the game zone today, you can challenge the other teams in a head-to-head -head mission. The third mission type is an actor-based mission. There are actors that are scattered throughout the game zone today, and some of them are very obvious, and some of them are not obvious at all. So I highly recommend that you guys are nice to everyone you meet. <laughs> There, there is one, there's a fourth and final mission type. These, these are the heart of the Go game. These are the creative mission types. So the phone is going to offer you some sort of open-ended prompt, and as a team, you're going to have to come up with the most mind-blowingly creative and original photos and videos we've ever seen. Oh, crap. No pressure, man. <laughs> when we make it back to Peckerheads, we will have a little bit of time before the power hour to show off all of these photos and videos, and you will get to judge the other teams and decide exactly what they deserve for their efforts. Oh my god. Uh, with all that in mind, my best photo. let's go ahead and break up the teams. So uh, we're going to do uh, about five teams. So let's find the uh, five people that you most wanted to see here. Go ahead and, and point to those five people. So Brian gets a lot of people. God, it should be it should be pointed out that it was it was 50 degrees and raining the entire experience long. Hey, it's Colleen. Yes. Um, you sir, Colin. Choose your Warriors team. All right. And in three, two, one and a half. One. Thank you for using AT&T. The game is afoot, guys. Go ahead and hit that go button, and you'll load your first mission. Okay, into your favorite 80s band. <laughs> Depeche Duran. Mode? There we go. Uh, Duran. Depeche Duran. <laughs> oh, team photo. Get Mark to take it. Oh, nice. Hey, look at that. Yeah.
Patrick Delahanty edit edit it all. All right. What's the next step? There's an important person walking around the game zone today. Here's a hint. He's a well-known superhero. If you can catch our superhero, he will give you. There he is. <laughs> Should we go get? Him? He's walking very slowly. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's, look, he's trying to blend. Let's all just blend in. We should have stations so we can see this. Oh! I'm faster than Flash! Hey, we're having an umbrella. There's Flash. Hang on. You guys have got to help me. They're going to kill Green Lantern. They said, not Flash, not what he used to be. Only way I can get him back is if I send them a compromising photo myself. Okay. John, get behind him. <laughs> John, John's our guy. No. Closer. No, no hug. Closer. Clo hug. Bend over. Oh, hug. Hug. Oh, no, bend there. over. Bend. No, you get more compromising. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, no, here. There. No, no stand guys. up, John. <laughs> and while he's bent over. Uh, I'm not falling for this. <laughs> There's a very question it. being filmed oh, inside the Grandois. Grandios. Grandois? Wow! Grandois. Pool hall on the corner of 7th or 6th and Buffalo Grass. Billiards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What do we have to do? Yeah. There's an epic western being filmed inside the pool hall. Head inside and find the still, still images image of this movie. What else? Uh, They've got some real star power and fantastic names. Let us know what the good guy is doing to the bad guy. There's an art collector waiting for you at Iron Cactus on 6th and Trinity. Just to warn you, she has a reputation for being a bit centric. Okay. She's always on the hunt for the latest things in the modern art scene. On your way over there, your team must find or create something that you will be able to... Oh, you're saying it's not fair that Bonnie, because Bonnie's an actual artist, that, that she came up with a better bit? And she came up with art things, because, like, that was a really good idea. Well, yeah, no. Like, yeah, but she's like, I'd be like, uh, somebody perform a magic show. <laughs> or somebody yell loud so everyone gets annoyed. <laughs> well, no, no, no. And, and what she did was she she took the envelope they had and she just wrote on the inside, this is not art. So you opened yeah, it and you saw that, that experience. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Oh, you shall not pass. Oh, <laughs> I love the snapping. Oh, 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 <laughs> like, like it's West Side Story. <laughs> Action. <laughs> All right. Here, I'm going to do you the favor of skipping over this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you should realize you need to redo that to black and white. The record. Record. Uh, dude, I, actually, Zach re-edited it in black and white with film grain, and he put, like, piano music, and it was freaking hilarious. Where, uh, Zach, where is that? Did I, Wait. Which one? Uh, yours. Uh, oh, good God, I would prefer if that never saw the light. Oh, no, it's, it's, in fact, it was actually kindly edited. It was actually we there was many discussions that we had to, to, to get as nice as possible. I guess Mac uh, Zach's not here. He just edited it and didn't give it to us. What a bummer. Okay. Come up with a super letter. Okay. Super letter. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'm helping. Uh, then make a video of one or more members of your team achieving it. How about... We, we grab on a, a light pole and he's singing most of, in the rain. Most of the singing in the rain. Oh, most of the singing in the rain. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Oh, they set a record with our friends from Record Center. Yeah. <laughs> or least favorite. Well, one you kind of like, we suppose. We always want to see the human version of Asteroids or Chun Li's Helicopter's Kid. <laughs> He's working it. This is where you had to act out. You had to act out a video game. Uh, and they did Cubert, right? Yeah, that was Cubert that they were doing right there. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> oh! And then we did that was Frogger. You guys do Frogger. In the rain. We did multiplayer Frogger. MacBook Pro laid down in that rain and just got rained on. It's a trooper. Are you recording now? Yeah. 
they had the superior in that there was actual traffic. I've never seen that in Frogger. A car just a, a nice Come back, do it again, dude. <laughs> Let's go back to Peckerheads. Let's go. Yeah. Yay. So in fourth place, with a score of 470 points, uh, we like to call these guys the team that tried really hard. Um, you could also call it last place, but that's really mean. <laughs> They're taking home a very special prize to remind them of exactly how they feel in this moment. The official Go Game Rubber Chicken yeah! is going to Depeche Duran! <laughs> This is the third place team with a score of 490 points. Can we get a representative from Tom Selleck's mustache? Yeah! Yeah! Now can you escape from that in less than two minutes? <laughs> Once again, the two remaining teams are Sausage Fest 12 and the Kneeling Sanduskies. First place had a score of 583 points. Second place had a score of 513 points. I am now going to announce the first place team. I need the entire first place team to come up here. Sausage Fest 12! All right. All right. I want pause to thank pause everybody. Uh, just mute my audio and I'll explain my speech. You know, right? <laughs> We're getting their asses smoked. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. All right, go I, ahead. I really appreciate the opportunity to participate with everybody. And uh, I want to thank Petey, you. what do you got to say? We you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think everything's great. Everything was <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Jason? You are a the blue bar team. team Jason, yeah. drop some science on him. I love you. He shouldn't die. That's why he is amazing. Let me do it, that's right. Peter, Peter Rave just leaned in and said he's grateful that he uh, that Patrick edited out Edie's place plant as he came up on stage. South by Southwest NSFW Diamond Club Chat Realm event of the Century. Uh, all right. Also, beware. This is again after a power hour. So if I sound like I'm retarded, that's why. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <laughs> so, what do you want to do next? <laughs> Uh, huge thanks to everybody who came out. Major thanks to MacBook Pro for driving eight hours. Major thanks to Zach Holder, Lonely.Geek, for coming down all the way from Arkansas, all the way up in, uh, what, BB or, or Searcy? He's up in one of them damn cities. Uh, and thank you to uh, Petey Ray, holler. Who's, still, holler. who's still here. <laughs> holler. Um, it was so much fun. It was one of the most memorable, fantastic events. It was amazing. Hey, um, we have some freebies. <gasps> can can I tell the full story? No, okay. you can only tell part of it, and I, you you're allowed to tell the story in five words. Go. We gave Allie more money. So, <laughs> done. Now move on. Okay. What's next? What's the weather like? She, Are you gonna vote for Obama? <laughs> She, she gave us shot glasses. It's not five at a time. It's fine. It's a stupid gimmick. Let's go. Uh, no, I am the deal. Being we we got very careful after the show last night or not last night last week. 
when we were drunk and rescheduling Allie's flight on a complete whim because we wanted to do this event that we barely knew we had any kind of uh, capacity for. Uh, there were a lot of people that were super, super generous, many of which that weren't going to come to the meetup uh, well, that they, helped they basically also we had budgeted. We thought we would have to pay for the venue. We didn't expect to get a venue for free. And all of a yeah. sudden we had a couple hundred extra dollars that was allocated for the venue. And it was like, well, it's like, well, hell, we don't deserve any of this crap. And so no. we gave it to the one person who upset her schedule to come join us. Absolutely. Uh, and so we gave, we, we, we threw Ali a few extra dollars there and uh, we we're very happy to, and in exchange and her appreciation and love uh, for chat realm, she has agreed to give away five. Of these. You want to give them away right now? Yeah. How do you want to give them away? I don't know. First of all, I want to share this tweet that came from Carrie, AKA growly bear. Should the team that won the rubber chicken is chanting what sounds like they said good enough, good enough, but apparently it sounded like Kani Na, which in Chinese directly translates to F your mother. <laughs> I wish I, I was the one who started the good enough chant. <laughs> I wish it was Kani Na. I will now start chanting Kani Na. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember that one. Now. You won, you won the bet. <laughs> I want. I want to. I really want to know the pronunciation. I know pronunciation is very important in Chinese. I want to yeah, know exactly. Make sure, you go up in the right direction. Yeah, Kanina. 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 Oh my God! There's one very offended Twit fan in China right now. Uh, scan. <laughs> oh, they should be watching the internet anyway. You're gonna get arrested, <laughs> sir. False road da. False road da. Let's start that chant at the next thing that we do. Uh, okay, so how are we going to get oh, these Apparently, away? someone's saying it's closer to Khan Ni Long. Okay. Khan Ni Long. Khan Ni Long. Khan Ni Long. Question. Uh, why don't we do something? Kalima Shakti Day. <laughs> Fosro Da. Uh, yeah, Khan Ni Long? I think I, I went well, to high school with her. School. Absolutely. All right, what are we going to do? Let's do... Um, Let's do if you oh eat out to your friends about the scam school book. Oh and crap. With a hashtag. Ooh. What's a hashtag you want to plug, bro? Hashtag. Hashtag Bob McBob wants one for his time and money thing, which uh he did a fake uh Netflix thing that's uh, the time, the money, and the hassle. And it's uh, oh, a, a this documentary. Is this is that brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the time, the money, and the hassle. By it's available on Netflix. It's just streaming. This it's is a, the true story of a washed-up 1980s rock singer, Money, who joins an equally washed-up power punk band, The Time, for a tour of the Midwest to revive their careers. Follow them through the draw, the sexual tension, and watch them learn life lessons of the hassle in this award-winning documentary. <laughs> Directed by Justin Robert Young. <laughs> okay, man. It's at three and a half stars right now. It's doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, you can find a lot of good indie stuff on Netflix. Uh oh, look right there. 109 members reviewed The Naked City. Oh, oh and that's where it falls apart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fast they're saying win, and now they're just all show. Fail. Shouting fail. There's boo. no gray. There's no, well, I mean, guys, still, it was a really good job. <laughs> Not we perfect. just happened to scroll oh, down a little yeah. further than we should have. Yeah, no, that's what, like fake and gay. Boo. I love that the internet really is just like overbearing Asian parents. It's like not perfect failure. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so um, uh, or, no, well, no people with overbearing Asian parents. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. We'll leave it to you. You, you got to tweet out to your friends to buy the scam school book. Give a link, a valid link, and um, what hashtag do they need to use, Michael? Uh, whew, well, it should be ha It should be like hashtag scam school, right? I mean. It's up to you. You got to tell me what's your final decision. Do not uh, leave it up to Michael. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag number one scam. Ooh. There you go. S hashtag number one scam. And oh, fact number one scam. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Feeny Rave. Jesus. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'll stop making the jokes when you stop laughing at him, Brian. <laughs> Like, All right, I have now created a hashtag number one scam. <laughs> <laughs> no substitutions. <laughs> T-N-T-O-A-K. T-N-T Oak is our first winner. Scam school book one, number one scam. Oh, here it all comes. Want free beer? You sh- Oh, dude. It's got to be the first five, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, so these people need to write us and claim... Who you are. Uh, hold on, let me move this up. How about you follow them and they DM you? Okay, here we go. I'm going to follow T and Oak. And he was first. <laughs> Doug McLeod. Congratulations. <laughs> I love T and Oak stands for what T normally stands for. Tits and then and oak? oak instead of A. <laughs> That's what I like. T <laughs> and Oak. I, yeah, you want to get a little tree and T and Oak in your life? Let me get a little trunk up in this business. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little trim. Ooh. I'm gonna do a little Rub pruning on, if you know what I'm talking about. Rub it on the bark. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did you think of uh, The Walking Dead? Talking about rubbing it on the bark. What? Who said that? <laughs> Rub it on the bark. It sounds like a like a like a two live crew song. <laughs> Rub it on the bark. Uh, Rub it on the bark. Um, Nesh Complex, Dave Ham, Tian Oak, uh, Lou, uh, Louis, Lawyer, Louis, Lawyer, Louis Lawyer. Yep. All right. And the last one is <laughs> okay. Now, this is the question Do we want to make this one valid? Because it doesn't mention Scam School, it just says NACA 2012 number one scam. <laughs> I am Andrew White. Well, you want to know what? We do have a bunch of codes. Okay, well... well, We have codes for the album, so... All right, I failed because I... I don't know if Bill Meek should be getting a power hour shot class, considering he's a father of eight. All right, here, this is... I'm going to skip over. We'll go to uh, Dylan Byth. All right, so you're followed as well. So now uh, all you guys send me direct messages with uh, your addresses, and I'll have John send you all stuff. Um, everyone else, uh, the, the, I will have John suss through the rest. Everyone else will get at replied a code to download the Power Hour album 100% freebies. Yeah, courtesy so of well, one Ali Spagnola. Can, can John do that like now so people can know when to watch their stream so they don't get their code jacked? No, he's going to at reply them, their individual code. Oh, oh yeah. Jack. Bleh, I don't know. You guys work it out in the chat. <laughs> John, right. John, are you watching? If you're watching, say so and tell us if you could. Uh, yeah. I, I don't even think he has the codes. Did you copy him on that? <laughs> <laughs> that face has been making the rounds. That's uh, We've all had our turn with that one. I didn't just dick over Meeks, man. Like, I'm sorry. I was just joking around. I don't think. And also, Adam 12. Is Adam 12 still watching? I made a joke about Adam 12. I, Adam I did, too. I did, too. And I talked to him in the chat. Adam 12 is a good sport. He's he's the best guy, dude. He is. I love Adam 12. And, and all the Diamond Club people, man. Like, I, I love you guys. Like, I love family. And you should hear the horrible things they say about them. It's just horrifying. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, John is saying he doesn't have the codes, so it'll have to be tomorrow. All right, hold on, I'll forward it to him. Jesus, why don't you whine? <laughs> All right, fine, fine, wow. God damn it. See, I love him like a brother. <laughs> Demon5 says that Adam left after we joked about him, which means uh, everyone needs to show a little love to Adam12. Send him a note saying we think it's great. Uh, what right. the hell? Leonimus has a special report. Hold on, we have a uh, we have one of these. special report. I uh, book is number one in iBooks. Hold on, <clears throat> that's true. If this could be link or it didn't happen, that's all I'm gonna say right now. In fact, here, this is this is when everybody turns down. They're like, oh, oh, oh hold on, everybody has to check, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, eat that, you suckers. It still says number seven. I'm still still licking Steve Jobs' balls, as far as I can tell. They are, they are impressive balls. <clears throat> yeah, people are, saying, people are saying number seven. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bob McBob, that's not... Oh, 
my God, Rick Foster may have written the single most horrendously offensive recommendation for my book I've ever seen. I so much so I'm not going to show it on the show, but if you guys <laughs> share it in the chat, you can see it. Wow. <laughs> Somebody just tried one of the tricks. <laughs> Brian, I just tried the human chimney trick and I thought I was going to die. Number seven on iTunes, number one in your hearts. <laughs> I don't know. Check under crime. See if it's under the crime category. Um, dang, no. I'll tell you what. Hey, uh, Jammer B, are you still there, buddy? I'm Bonnie here. Brush. Let me turn on Bonnie's mic. Yes, boss. Oh, hold on. I'm bringing Bonnie in on this. Bonnie, you got anything you want to share? Did you Did you watch? Careful, careful you don't torque that. There you go. Just, just make sure you hold it. There you go. And you got to talk into it. In the, it's a front, it's a top address. So you got to talk right in there. Hello. There you go. That's that's straight in here. Hold on. Let me. Now I got my spot. I just wondered why you're doing this tonight. Well, because it apparently released without our permission. So you just thought, hey. I, uh, here's the thing. Hardcore chat rooms, they got the goods. Yeah, but how's it going to last till tomorrow? Do you, you want to you know why? It's midnight. It's tomorrow, East Coast style. Right. Okay. And that's where the big money is. That's where big money is. Everybody who just pre-ordered got it. They're all telling their friends and everything. So here's here's what I, to be oh, honest. So the pre-orders had already gone out. I want very much to make this a contest between Chat Realm and the Scam School fans. Because I think Chat Realm has more influence, more passion, and more power than all of the Scam School audience put together. And I think the Scam School fans. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, let me let me tell you guys real quick for everyone as far as um, oh look at that we're number two in Canada. Hold on, let me where show. where it really counts. Yes, are you in Canada? No, you're not in Canada. No, I'm in LA. <laughs> well, I just got to say that when I was going through the book, I was like, ah, oh, God, you know, I have to watch every trick before it's actually. A actual trick. Like Brian reads or finds these, or you guys send them into Oh, you have to see them when they're raw and when they're raw and, and we don't ugly, have good routines for them or and anything. They're stupid. And then Brian always starts off actually. So, and then, and then he turns somewhere, you know, by me going, This is, I don't understand. Ugh, I just feel dumb. Okay. And then he goes, Oh, now I get it. And then he makes a good routine out of it. Yes. You are the, so you I'm are the, the reason. Big, I'm the, I'm the guinea pig. You, well, you you are yeah. the delightful person who makes all the routines. And good. then and then I get to see it again once you've refined it. Yeah. And then I get to see it again. Yeah. When you're editing it, and then I get to see it again when it comes out. And I thought you hand me this book, and I'm like, oh dear God, I have to <laughs> see. Like I'm not gonna see it again. This you trick. made a promise, press one again. Oh, how could this be? And I was so overcome by the novelty of. So you are. What you're saying is you were pre, pre set to hate. Well, just seeing be, this crap an, a third time. Well, I was just. I was. I felt like I was going to be completely ambivalent because I'd seen it so much, and I thought, well, you know, what, here's the material again, you know. But seeing the novelty of and, and just it was so much fun to experience an informative book through this through this new format with the audio commentary. Uh, I just think you guys did it right because it really made it a much richer book. Like the audio said all the things that you couldn't do in the video. Right. Or would want to put into written work. Right. Well, because it was all, all the it, toss away It was, it was either a funny important. story or a behind the scenes thing or a subtlety that is too uh, nuanced to, to bother to put into the description of the trick without making it bog down. Right, and you know, there's a whole bunch of new footage on just uh, some beautiful video that John put together um, of you doing the, the tricks and 
and it simplifies it in a way that you don't get from scam school. That's well, okay. So think about it this way: like the number one complaint we get from scam school is like, I took twelve whole minutes to watch this, and I could have learned it in thirty seconds. Scam school is not thirty seconds. Here's the knowledge. That's the number one complaint. Yes. Well, actually, number one is what died on his head. Number two yeah, is. Right, right. By the way, hey, you want to you want to hear like uh, uh, backwards like when. When you start to read the internet like code instead of like humans, yes, uh, I had one of those moments because uh, we've we've gotten pretty good traffic on our latest episode of Game On, and a lot of it's come from Minecraft people, sure, uh, who are not familiar with the show but just wanted to watch the Jeff Notch interview, and I just knew that we were attracting a new audience when I saw the comments like, "What crazy hair? What a moron hair, idiot moron hair!" Yada yada. I'm like, "Yes, new, new viewers." Audience. <laughs> new viewers. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. So, uh, but 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 the point is, um, wait, what were we talking about again? Oh, just how? Oh, you stupid hair, even, uh, Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's uh, here. Let me just, I'll fix it right but, now for but you. But putting putting the material aside is it's just really fun, and I'm so excited about how how written media is going. You know, it's just like merging. I it, and I really kind of was predisposed to think, you know, it's just kind of gratuitous and. But I'm, uh, I'm also excited about education because I know some schools are moving towards having their textbooks present material like this too. Oh, I'm telling you, like this how is how much more fun. This is an awesome case where like we have this. a giant back catalog of legitimately awesome stuff to learn. We also have a unique point where the novelty is at the highest it's ever going to be. The per, uh, the, the per, permutation per, per, permeation. The penetration, penetration of the device mm. is very high relative to the level of quality content there right. is out there. So it is my hope that enough people, I've never been more proud of anything I've ever written than this book. And it's like, it's my hope that enough people tell other people because it's so novel and it's the first thing, like if you want to show off what can be done with an iPad, this is a great device to do that. Um, and, and I should point out, people are asking about uh, like, oh, well, does it suck on the Amazon Kindle or whatever? Here's the thing, Amazon Kindle is rolling out New, uh, wow, we're trending worldwide. What number what one scam trending worldwide? Oh, for Twitter, number one scam is oh, number one stunner. Ha, <laughs> number one, I book. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> that's awfully close to one of the tracks we recorded from that attack, too, Justin. <laughs> Uh, I don't even remember. There's a lot of <laughs> you don't remember. Yeah. You don't remember the recreation of me on the Indonesian version of Total Request Live. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. that was actually a pretty good one. That was a good one. <laughs> that was not terrible. No, seriously, you're number one. <laughs> what does that mean? Number one in what? On iBooks. On paid iBooks. On paid iBooks. Definitely on arts and entertainment. Definitely on arts and entertainment. I'm being yeah. told. Oh, okay. They're Maybe qualifying. That's what people yeah. Are pointing to. I um, thought it was gold. Gold cup, big foam finger, number one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was it? It was like a uh, top of the plow, goddamn humdinger, Damn. gold cup, blue ribbon, giant foam finger, number one. Oh, one. Um, We're not gonna download the I also like that number one scan is is like a mask with other things that aren't this. <laughs> oh, really? Is, is there oh, other people like, they're like, yeah, oh. like. Number one, scam, girl one scam. That's the <laughs> number one scam. Girls calling your boyfriend. That's the end. Number one scam. Coney 2012. No, it's like <laughs> it's a meme. <laughs> that is awesome. Fantastic. But then it's so it's like those things, and then and then your book. Oh my god! It's they're so, talking about on Twitter right here. Like yes. number one yeah, scam. On wow, that was amazingly fast. Yeah. You, Robert Meacham. <laughs> a Google a day puzzle. A Google a day, do a Google a day, do. You know me, you know. If you know me, you know. I can't believe you don't have that footage. If I'm the type of girlfriend. Black and white footage. Number one scam. Top of the plaf. Goddamn hump digger. digger. Gold cup, blue ribbon, job foam finger. Finger number one. Yeah, Robert Meacham signed with San Diego. The so yeah, know, the original historical. Which is the number one scam. <laughs> That's fine. 
Well, I got to I got to give a big thumbs up for the uh, Go games. I didn't know what to expect and it was so hard for me to wrap my brain around what Brett did on the, with this company. And... Well, Cuz we hear about it, we're yeah. like, I don't know, it's like a scavenger hunt, I guess, and we're like, that's that sounds totally lame. But no. people pay thousands of dollars for this, so it but must be awesome. As far as a team builder, if any of you guys are, are in a position to make recommendations for, you know, your your company takes you to PF Chang's or whatever, yeah. I Roberto saying he wants to recommend it at his at his I job. Feel like, I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. Feel like more of a team. <laughs> Peter Rave says he feels like more of a team with you, Justin. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, Peter it's, Rave, turn to a slave. It's when you when you create together. I mean, you're you know you're forced into this position of like, okay, and they're very simple. So it, it was easy to be creative and have fun with it. I mean, it it was so easy to participate, and everybody just kind of takes a role. And it was so much fun, and and you can just make the experience what you want. So. With- oh, hold on, let me get a mic on you, here, Peter. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess the best I could do is yeah, here. Yeah, walk here. walk over here. Come on, come on over here. Talk into that right there. Uh, this is a side address mic, by the way. Wait, 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 uh, uh, wait for it. Which mic? Which means I have to turn my head sideways. Everything. Uh, these. I know, I know that's the crazy super there, there, there we go. Uh, this this one's only like a hundred bucks, and it's what I used for a year. Uh, yeah, close to it. It's the AT twenty thirty five. There you go. Let me, let me fire this up there. All right, go ahead and talk. Well, I was saying that even, especially if you, you can find that uh, that guy in your office that keeps to himself, that maybe could be part of the team and could participate more in in, in the team. Uh, and this is the perfect way to kind of reach over to that person because like we we talk about you know jason who was kind of really a kind of a quiet guy didn't really talk <laughs> by the way i found out a reason why he was very quiet <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we bet then he kind of he contributed and he was part of the oh, team my. but i guess i'll let Jason. yeah talk. no apparently uh he was very sleepy. From his <laughs> <life>. <laughs> very sleepy. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say I smelt anything in the truck when I rode with them, but yeah, you know. in my parking lot for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, Michael, yes. real quick, I want you to realize, uh, Bill Meeks just sent something over to me. You spoke some words out of nowhere. You said hashtag number one scam, yeah, and then in. What's happening worldwide right now? Worldwide trends right there. We're number one. Can we play that what? song? Because it's actually happening right now. Yeah, no, we should actually. Hold on, let me let me let me dig that up there. YouTube. Uh, by the way, dot PDF is saying, how good is the Amazon version? The Amazon version is uh, it, it, you're gonna get all the content. It's just for right now, because of how they formatted, it's not going to be inlaid exactly in the same way that the iBooks one is. Right. But all the content's in there. Right. Well, it's all the, the only difference is uh, uh, right now, and this is this is Kindle's fault, not ours. Everything's built into the actual book, but on all Kindle devices, only iOS devices running the Kindle app have it phys- have have it embedded right there in the file to where you click it and it plays right there. The rest of them you have to click on the external link. And it just takes you out to YouTube, you play it, and then you go back. But again, I suspect in a matter of months, they're going to have this thing fixed. Even the yeah. Kindle Fire? Or like yeah, the even the newest? Kindle Fire. Really? Like, yeah, oh. no, that's that's the crazy part, right? They oh. make the Kindle Fire, but the best viewing experience is still on an iPad using the Kindle app. How yeah. Crazy. But again, it's going to be like 20 minutes until they fix that. I would, don't, yeah. don't worry about it. But you yeah, know, I uh, just... Okay. You know, sorry, go ahead, Bob. Oh, I was just going to glow on, you give Kindle a free... Um, Free advertisement here. Uh, yeah, it is like, so like much a fun. What the tonight, bud? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, the Palooza. Yeah, but uh, like a Palooza '97. My my and parents were really all place. about getting Penny one of these e-readers, and and they used the Nook, and and they decided to go with Kindle because we already have it like on our iPads and stuff. Oh wait, we have the Kindle. Yeah, the Kindle on the iPads. But it is so much fun to read on that. I, I thought I would never give up books because I'm a touchy feely kind of experiential thing. But it's so pleasing to read that e ink. You yeah, know, no, it's it pretty. really it's very is, pretty. It's pretty. It's simple. It in it, and it saves my place. And I can read because I don't have to keep the book open. I can brush my teeth and wash my face while I'm reading. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's a million activities you can do while reading. Hold on. So it's Actually, what the trend? look at this. Uh, what the trend is. I'm going to hit refresh here. Trending worldwide. Oh, it looks like it's already gone down. Wow, that's fast. I, Why is that? I like the definition, though. What was the definition? Bizarre magician Brian Russian has released his brand new book, Scam School Book One, which includes everything from how to get free board, free beers to <coughs> to sneaking your way backstage. Like, like they're they're pimping you like crazy. I'm telling you, dude, you don't mess with. Look, all I'm gonna say is we made the cut, which means it's time to play this. This holler. Yeah. Listen up, world, to what I got to say. America's number one, and we're here to stay. Top of the pile, I got damn humdinger. Blue ribbon, gold cup, giant foam finger. Number one. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're number one. Better than Greece, London, Italy, or France. All the other countries are like pooping our pants. Slow it down. America, America, God made you gracefully. And all them other countries just wish that they could be ye. The golden eagle flies over mountains wide with snow. The great Grand Canyon calls out. Look out below! The people got the vote And cars and lots of stuff And if you try to take our stuff We'll kick you in the dust Now I believe that this is the greatest country in the world The history of the world to be exact, I really do I've never been to Europe, and I don't speak any foreign languages. I don't know anything at all about history. I never studied it. I don't read books. I don't speak to anyone outside of a very small circle of like-minded friends, and because of that, I am certain that I'm right. <laughs> Did I mention that I don't read the newspaper? That's another great thing about me. I love camping, NASCAR, and laughter. I'm looking for a single white Christian female, not too strict, but somebody who's a little bit into kink. Oh, P.S. No fatty. <laughs> Let's go. Number one. Hell yeah, we're number one. You're ready, Brad. I'm ready. Better than Greece, London, Italy, or France. All them other countries are like love. Our pants. All right. American pride. American pride. <laughs> I'm on it. Uh, did you ever watch Mr. Show back in the day, Michael? I did. I did. Uh, that, that was, I, I don't even know where this came from. It was from BobandDavid.com. I guess they released it as just a video uh, only thing on the internet. But uh, that's awesome. All right, look, we, we got to wrap things up here. Um, Justin, anything that's else? That's another great thing about me. <laughs> <laughs> Good to you. The scary thing is, is uh, Brian's parents lived out in the country for a while, and everybody we lived next to that guy. We no, I mean, C. C. everybody Lewis that Jr. lived next to him was that guy. Yes, it was, there all was of multiples. their neighbors were C.S. Lewis Jr. It was yes, freaking it was, unreal. It's a little scary. <laughs> they exist. It was terrifying. Good night. All right. Um, <laughs> by the way, somebody needs to point me. Someone out reply me the Justin TV feed of Bonnie reading the Olivia Munn stuff. In the oh, my God. Did you miss it? It was amazing. I was busy running after your dumb dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have to see this. I have to see this. <laughs> it was. Someone out reply me that. It was amazing. I forgot about it. <laughs> amazing. Uh-oh. Oh, Can that right. be erased from the internet somehow? I, <laughs> thank you so much, man. You of were course, of course, dude. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for everything and for putting the Death Star behind me. Wait, all oh, let's fix this. Belated media, uh, dude. Uh, you have a free pass. Belated anytime number one. Anytime you want to come on the show, you you just tell me. I will I will let you know when two hits, and then we can yes. we can talk it out. Yeah, yeah. 
No, we'll have Absolutely. to get out. Because I'm sure, I'm sure there will be many a talking point. Uh, no, it's going to be super awesome. And uh, we, will, we will figure out uh, a way to have you back on. It's going to be great. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you both. All right. Awesome, man. Uh, let me do this. I'm going to put it on this. And uh, Jammer B, you want us to, to skedaddle to the other, the other realm? Yeah, let's uh, switch it over. Okay. All right. Awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to switch it over right now. I love you guys on Twit. Uh, last chance, unless you're going to join us over at the Justin TV after party where we're going to say a lot of curse words. Uh, um, bye guys. See bye. you on the other side. Love you, Jeremy. Oh, wait, wait, Jeremy, leave it up for just a second. I'm going to stop this and start this. Okay. We should be live over on justin.tv. There we go. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. Good night. Bye guys. Why am I not here? It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next NSFW the show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Oh, I'd rather die in a fire Than to spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you